Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel today. So today's Saturday the 19th. Um, can you, I can't believe it's been a week since my wedding shower. It's like nuts. But today we are going to be doing a kind of like cook with me or like, I don't know what the title of this video is yet, but me and Hugh, well Hugo's at the gym right now. Um, I went to go book our honeymoon, which is all set. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm actually going to be cooking today, which I cook all the time. It's not like, oh, today I'm gonna... No, what I mean is I'm going to be um, cooking and I want to show you guys what I'm making. So today I am making zucchini noodles, um, which I got at Trader Joe's. You'll see that Trader Joe's haul before you see this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make zucchini noodles with um, broccoli florets. And ooh, French green beans. Um, also, I'm gonna be making a kind of like healthy pizza to go with this. Um, so I don't know if you guys ever been to uh, not Trader Joe's, not your average Joe's. It's a restaurant. Um, it is they so they have this underground menu, and the under one of the things is a California bacon blue pizza. It's delicious. It's so good. There's caramelized onions. Um, there's bacon bits and then they toss it with like, um, like a salad mix, like an arugula salad mix. They drizzle it with balsamic vinaigrette and there's also blue cheese. It's so good. So today I'm going to be making a healthier version of that. Um, I'm going to be using my Bob Red Mills, um, little packets, like gluten-free packets. If you don't, um, know where to find gluten-free products, you can actually... Um, Ocean State Job Lot sells a lot of them. Um, I know the one near me does, so I'm sure the other ones might too. So today I'm going to be making this gluten-free pizza crust. Everything you need is in here, obviously besides like the water and the eggs, but the um, one packet of yeast is included. Um, I don't always buy the small packets like this. Like I'm also for dessert going to be making gluten-free chocolate cake, but... I don't always buy these packets like this. I have a gluten-free section in my pantry and um, I have like all of my baking stuff. They have like actual flour. You can make your homemade, oh, your homemade recipes um, with their regular flour, which I have. My next step is gonna be carrot cake, which is Hugo's favorite, but um, I wanna cut down on the gluten, so I'm gonna use the gluten-free flour. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be doing the bacon, that bake, underground bacon blue pizza. Um, I don't have baby arugula, but I have a salad mix that I'll just put on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the gluten-free pizza crust. I'm going to grill some turkey bacon. So this way it cuts down on some of the fat, fats from the, um, from the actual bacon. I'm going to put the bacon bits. I'm going to put the, um everything pretty much but i'm just replacing it with healthier options it's my favorite pizza in the whole wide world it's so yummy um so yeah that's what we're making today and i figured i would show you guys as i go along so stay tuned so these are the onions that i'm gonna be um sauteing i use avocado oil you can use regular oil if you prefer the brand that I usually buy is at either at Costco or BJ's. This one is from BJ's. The whole bottle doesn't like fit in my cabinet, so I put it in something smaller. Um, and then this one is from Costco, but the one from BJ's is just as good. And I believe the one from BJ's is actually um, less expensive because it comes like a little bit more in the bottle, but no biggie. Um, so I'm just going to drizzle avocado oil. I love avocado oil because it's such a great like replacement for um, regular oil. So I'm just going to be sauteing these onions and then when I'm done I'll show you guys. Um, pizza crust is a cup and a half of warm water so I have the warm water in there. Um, and they want to put the, which with most like any doughs or anything like that, the yeast packet in there and let it sit for five minutes. So that's what I'm about to do. So. The pizza dough is done. Now I'm going to make two small pieces. So I'm just going to stretch these out and I'll show you guys after what I did. But I have the vegetables are done for the um, 
pasta. And then the onions are done for the pizza. And I'm just going to roll this out and then I'll show you guys what, it, what we've got here. Cut my finger, I think. I can nick it. I don't know how. So get close so you can see. So this is the pizza. It's the caramelized onions. I used red because I like red. The feta and the turkey bacon, which will um, cook in the oven. The only thing is, um, I didn't have blue cheese, so I used feta. Blue cheese has kind of a taste to it that I don't love um, anyway, so feta would work better. So I'm just going to drizzle the um, vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette, on this. Um, you drizzle a little bit, like I'm not overdoing it. This is just so it can cook in with the pizza but once you put once the pizza is cooked and you put the um arugula and stuff on top then you can go ahead and you know this thing's really annoying um you can drizzle a lot more which we'll do but um hugo likes this pizza we've had it before i don't i've never made it at home but so i'm gonna pop it in the oven one of those gluten-free packages from the red mills Oh, hey, what's up? Sorry, I was memorizing From the, the Red Mills, um, can do two small pizzas. These look like pretty big pizzas. One of these could probably would be more than enough for us, especially because this is more of a side um, that we're doing. But my mom's also coming over to eat. She loves this pizza. We've had it from Trader um, from Not Average uh, Joe's, and we really like it. So I'm going to pop this in the oven, and then I will chat later. Ooh, it's hot. Alright, so I'm going to make that gluten-free chocolate cake packet that I showed you guys earlier. Um, so. All you need is two eggs, milk, oil, and water. So it's two-third cups of milk. I already put the two eggs and the third cup of vegetable oil. You're going to mix it first, and then you're going to add in the boiling water. So, this is my handy dandy mixer that I'm absolutely effing obsessed with. You go bought this for Christmas for my birthday for me. And it's been like the best gift ever that anyone's ever gifted me. You're welcome. Mom, if you're watching this, all those times you said I'd never use it, that was BS. Okay, and then I'm boiling the water. You know what I find about this mixture? It seems to be very watery, which I find a little weird. Look at it. It's kind of watery. I've never made this chocolate cake, gluten-free chocolate cake before, but it looks watery, and I haven't even added the actual water yet. If you guys are looking for good milk, this right here is the best milk. Um... It's fair life and what was that? My phone. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, and it doesn't expire till July twenty first. Like we I don't know if you guys do this, but I only really buy this kind of milk for cakes and stuff. You can even replace this with almond milk, but I'm not going to. Um sometimes I replace it with like my pancakes with almond milk. But we don't drink milk in our household. Like, I mean, I'll bake stuff. This is the only time I use milk, and it goes bad so quickly. I bought this like three weeks ago, and it doesn't expire till July, which is really good because I'm not talking. It's more expensive than like your grocery store milk, but it's just better because if you toss milk out all the time this way, it's a little bit more money, but it's going to last you a lot longer. All right, so I'm going to finish this cake, and I will show you to you guys later. So the zucchini noodles are done with the broccoli and the green beans. That is all done, and I'm just waiting on the pizza and the cake. Oh, I turned the light off. Let me see. So pizza's in there. It's looking yummy. I'm so excited. And then the cake is up here, which... Guys, it was so watery, but it actually is baking, which is extremely weird because it was literally too watery, but we'll see. Okay, so the pizza's done. It looks like this. 
and I'm just adding the um, salad mix. You could use whatever you want. Arugula is usually better, but I didn't have any, so this is good. Um, and then when you're done, just going to take the balsamic dressing and drizzle it on top. Yummy. You guys can try it. Mmm. It's good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You know what that pizza is? Mm. The pizza we had. Remember that pizza we had at the place? Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just gluten free pizza dough. Nice. It's very good.